Yo guys, what's going on? Got a crossheart deck profile for you guys for the BT10 meta. Uh, this deck is actually insane. If you've done any sort of um, testing over uh, this uh, meta, you'd know, or at least seen some like Japanese gameplay, uh, you'd know how powerful this deck is. And if you don't know anything about this deck, if you're kind of new to the game or haven't looked at uh, BT10 too much, I'll kind of show you like why this card or at least talk about like why this deck is so crazy and like what's so good about it. So as you can see, this is like a multicolor deck. This is one of the first like truly like this deck plays like every single color. It's really, really cool. There's a lot of cool things about this deck. Um, it is a little, not, not a little bit, it's, it's, all, it's pretty unfair. It's a very, very unfair deck and it does a lot of really crazy things. Um, so yeah, let's just kind of talk about it. Uh, to start with the level 2s, of course, uh, you've got a really powerful egg. Uh, the Digimon just has a simple when attacking. If the Digimon has cross heart and straight, draw one card. It's basically every single Digimon in your deck. No, it literally is every single Digimon in your deck uh, that has cross heart in the traits. You're typically only ever going to get this underneath your level 3s, um, but this is just a really nice consistency card. What else is there to say? It facilitates you just swinging into your opponent's security with the level 3s, drawing a card off that and taking out a security card. Like, what more do you want from an egg? For the level 3s, you have three really powerful Digimon. Of course, uh, the best one being the Shoutmon here. Uh, the BT10 Shoutmon, unfortunately, is a, a four cost uh, to play, uh, but that's okay because his effect is really powerful. Um, so first of all, on play, you reveal the top three, add a Digimon and a Tamer, both with cross hearts in the trait. So this searches everything in the deck, um, essentially except for like Ty, for example, because he's just a regular Tamer. Uh, the new Tamers do have cross heart in their traits. They actually have cross heart. Uh, listed like right there. So these are searchable for example off of um, Both Shoutmon as well as any other card that like specifies a cross heart card that includes the tamers as well as um, Any of the cross heart option cards that I'm not actually playing but um, anyways the tamers um, have cross heart in the trade So something like Ballistamon or this is well I have another Digimon or Tamer with cross heart in his trades that Digimon has blocker uh, So we'll kind of get to that but the Shoutmon's really good because he's search searchability obviously um, all of the low Lower level Digimon in this uh, deck, so uh, the three rookies here, as well as the two champions being Ballista and Darulu, have this keyword on deletion save. So that basically just means <clears throat> you place this card underneath any of your tamers as the bottom Digivolution card. So simple effect there, but it really lets you reuse these Digimon um, even after they should have gone to the um, trash. Okay, so the Shoutmon here has got the save, of course, but then also you, in his inherited effect is while this Digimon is Shoutmon in the name, it gains Rush. So, so that is a really crazy keyword. Having um, Rush as an inherited effect is just really crazy. Uh, so that'll come into play when we get to our higher level win conditions here. Um, so that's the Shoutmon. The Sparrowmon here of course has the on deletion save uh, she's also got the uh, alterns effect while you have a digimon or tamer with cross heart or twilight in its traits it gets plus 3000 um that's just a nice like plus 3000 boost so it's a 5k digimon during your and your opponent's turn as long as you have another cross heart in play which is really cool uh but the main effect that's broken here is the um if this digimon has shoutmon uh or mervamon randomly um it gains a reboot so all of the inherited here work with your shoutmon like if this digimon has shoutmon in the name um so that kind of coincides with like the cross four and cross five so this gives reboot, Shoutmon gives rush, the Starmons gives the um, when attacking draw one card, so similar to the Pikmons uh, effect, and then it just its main effect is just um, on deletion save, so nothing too crazy there. Uh, now for the level 4s, the Ballistamon here. Um, oh, and by the way, uh, if you're wondering like how you're supposed to evolve on top of um, your egg here, um, all these Digimon have the uh, Digivolve 0 from a level 2 with cross heart. And since the Pikmon has cross art in its traits, uh, it doesn't look at the color requirements. So Sparrowmon can evolve on Pikmon as well as uh, Shoutmon. Similarly, the Ballista and Darulu have the Digivolve 2 from a level 3 with cross art. So this, for example, can evolve on top of the Sparrowmon or the Shoutmon, um, regardless of the color. So this Digimon, like I talked about, is essentially your blocker. Um, and then also has the save keyword. Uh, and then is inherited, gives Shoutmon piercing. So that's, uh, that's just how many keywords can we get onto a Digimon? We've already got Rush Reboot Piercing, um, and then the Darulamon here um, will also have the keyword um, save 
on deletion. Inherited gives your um, security Digimon minus 2k, so it just helps your Shoutmon survive uh, even like more when they're swinging at security. Uh, and then on plate, if you've got another Digimon or Tamer with cross hearts um, in the traits, you can uh, give one of your Digimon minus 3,000. So it's a really, really good way to out floodgate Digimon um, and just any rookies that are giving your opponents advantage, maybe like a Boko or something. Um, but floodgates, uh, specifically Psychmon, uh, and I think Chikuri and Solarmon are the the new ones, the 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 ones that don't let you reduce uh, play cost because, of course, if you know anything about the Digicross mechanic, it does revolve around reducing play cost. So that is really really essential uh, to be able to get rid of those floodgates so you can actually play the game. So that's kind of the lower level supplementary Digimon. Now, what are your win conditions in the deck? Okay, so first of all, you probably have the bet one of the best level fours ever created in this game is Shoutmon Cross 4. Okay. So the fact that he's a level 4 and then the other one's level 5, the levels don't really matter too much cuz you're always hard playing these. Um, but regardless, he's an 8,000 stat line. He's got a couple of really powerful effects. So first of all, he's got the Digicross 2 mechanic, okay? So Digicross 2, uh, this takes Shoutmon, Ballistamon, Darulamon, Starmon. Uh, when you would play this card from your uh, hand, you get to put any number of those Digimon, one, one each, but like any number of the materials. So like maybe if I just have a Shoutmon, I just put a Shoutmon, or if I've got all four, I can put one of all four. Um, and then you reduce the play cost by two for each. So in an ideal world, if you've got all four, um, somewhere on your field or in your hand, you can put each of these in um, underneath this material to Digicross minus two for each. So minus eight cost will play this card for a one cost. Okay, so if you didn't know how Digicross works, that's essentially how it works. Um, is just reducing the play cost by this number for each of the materials you place. So we're playing him for a one cost. What does he do? Well, on play you trigger draw two. Okay, seems really good so far. Uh, and then you've also got the end of attack. You may place all the Digimon's Digivolution cards underneath one of your tamers in order to suspend one of unsuspend one of your tamers, and then you delete this Digimon afterwards. Um, so why is that important? Um, first of all, when you're playing him right, you're sticking all these Digimon underneath them. So Shoutmon, Ballistamon, Darulu, Starmons. We talked about those guys with the really powerful inherited. So you essentially always will have the Rush. That's your kind of main one, um, and then having like Piercing, Draw One, Minus Two Thousand is really nice. But the, the Rush part is what's important okay so you're putting this underneath a one cost digimon with rush um 8000 that will potentially be checking two cards if you've got something like a tie on field um but anyways that that's that's a really really powerful play and then of course drawing two cards uh, since you're losing card advantage by using materials this kind of makes up for the fact that you're um, hard playing him and using like four other cards to make this guy okay so now the digicross mechanic works by placing things from hand or battle area um but the really broken part about this deck is the uh tamer the main tamer here taiki uh, so taiki lets you um, when you would Digicross, you get to uh, suspend this Tamer, and then by suspending this Tamer, you can also place cards from underneath your Tamers into Digivolution sources for a Digicross. So, for example, like let's say you've got like um, like a Darulamon underneath your Taiki here, and you want to play a Cross Four. So, if you play a Cross Four, you can then declare, okay, I'll suspend Taiki to use the Darulamon since Digicross only works with a uh, hand battle area, but then now you can use it from underneath your Tamers as well. So, this actually works for all of your Tamers. So, like if you've got multiple Tamers out and they like all have materials underneath them, you can use all of those materials any way you want to. Okay, so that's why one of the reasons why Taiki's really broken, of course, on top of being like a reveal for add a cross heart and then put a Digimon with cross heart uh, underneath a tamer, uh, like in, in any way you want, um, and then return the rest of the bottom deck in any order. So that simultaneously is a consistency card and then also gets you an extra card for one of your Digicrosses. Okay, so Shaman Cross 4, really, really powerful. That's kind of your main go to to start with. Um, and then the kind of combo there is like, if you are going to be, you know, you put four underneath them with the uh, Taiki effect, let's say you've got all four of these underneath your Taiki, you suspend Taiki, play this guy for one, draw two cards, swing, you check a card because you've got Rush or something, uh, and then you get to on um, end of attack, you place them all back underneath the Taiki and then unsuspend it, and then you, like, let's say you got another cross four, you can just do that whole combo again. So really, really powerful stuff. And then that cross five here is really strong as well. So he's got um, security attack plus one uh, as well as blocker. 
uh, as well as material safe 3. Oh, and by the way, uh, Shatmon Cross 4 also has got the material safe keyword. Um, so when this Digimon is, is, would be deleted, you can place two of his Digivolution cards underneath um, your... Um, you know, one of your tamers in any order, um, so you can place any of the Shatmon Ballista, etc., underneath them. Um, you're typically always gonna and use end of attack effect, but in the case like he doesn't survive until end of attack, uh, that can come in handy. Uh, so Cross Five has the material save three, um, and in this scenario, you're using all four of those other ones plus the Sparrowmon. So um, the Sparrowmon makes this card really, really good because it becomes a reboot blocker. Um, of course, who's got Rush and Security Attack plus one and plus maybe like Piercing thrown in there. So, Shout 1 Cross 5 is really strong because if you do have all five of the materials, you can actually play him for a zero cost because did you cross two for each of the five? That's two, four, six, eight, ten minus ten cost for a zero cost. Uh, zero cost. 10k Digimon that checks to reboot blocker. What else can I say? Like these cards are absolutely crazy. Now, of course, this does require some setup. Like you're not just gonna start off with like five materials in your hand, but between cards like Taiki, your Shoutmon Searcher, uh, as well as playing um, something like Fireball here to just draw extra cards, you're pretty much going to see your pieces within the first couple of turns, and then going to be able to produce an outrageous amount of aggression to be able to throw your opponent uh, to the shadow realm basically just being able to end the game really really quickly so that's why your win conditions are really good now for the option cards and tamers uh fireball kind of already talked about um drawing is really good but then of course the deleting something with 3000 lower if your opponent has a floodgate it's just another way to be able to out mons and stuff um i'm testing out blinding ray i really really like this card because you've got yellow uh tamers as well as yellow eggs so it's usually not dead if you're holding it until the end of the game and sometimes you just need a little bit of extra memory to be able to close out the game like let's say if you're playing a Shoutmon, but you've only got like um, three of the four materials instead of like all four, so you've got to play for like a three cost, so this helps you if like your opponent's choking you. So Blinding Ray, really good. Sunrise Buster, probably the most ridiculous card in this deck. So guys, this card plays a yellow or red tamer card from your hand. Of course, you need both colors to activate it, but you're playing so many red and yellow sources that doesn't really ever pose a problem. Uh, you get to minus 3,000 something for each a tamer you have. So not only do you get to play one of your tamers, which uh, three of them have, or I guess, well, you can't play Zendra off of... Um, uh, off of that effect, but if you play your Taiki or, or uh, Akari off of the effect, you get to then get their on play effects, which is really, really broken because Taiki searches a card and then Akari gets to play a Darulamon and potentially like draw a card off of the play. So Sunrise Buster, really, really crazy, and I think you do need some sort of defensive card um, in this meta just because there's so many Digimon running around there with like Rush and ability to check multiple cards and stuff. So Sunrise Buster, really, really strong. Uh, and then now for your Tamer, so of course Tai being uh, the memory Tamer here and then giving your uh, red Digimon with four more sources security attack plus one so that works with Shaman cross four as well as cross five being able to check two or three cards potentially is really really crazy uh, and then for your cross art tamers already talked about why Taiki was so broken uh, Akari is really nice as well you get to play the Rulamon from hand or underneath one of your tamers for free and then whenever you play cross art Digimon you can suspend her to draw a card so this just again is another reason why this deck can accrue so much advantage um, because of the fact that you like let's say you play like a cross four you draw two off of his effect you draw off of Akari and then like you swing like draw off your star mons or maybe that turn you swung with a rookie and draw pick mons like you're drawing so many cards it's really really crazy of course fireball and stuff as well uh, so those tamers really broken uh, your Zenjiro here is definitely strong um, not as broken I don't think I think three copies of him is fine uh, this one plays Ballistamon as well uh, it's a really good security bomb um, being able to like if your opponent hits a, a Zenjiro you can like use is on play, play a Ballistamon from hand or underneath material, and then he's get, he gets blocker immediately. Um, so it's, it's a really cool way, to, again, to just to be able to have security bombs that save you, uh, as well as just being a, um, a, a, a source of like uh, like extra memory, being able to um, play around the fact that your opponent's choking you. Maybe you've got, uh, you know, you're at zero, or, and you need to play like a uh, Shaman Cross 4 for one, so you get to, you know, play this for one, gain back the memory, etc. So lots of really, really powerful stuff there. Um, so yeah, this deck, guys, this deck is really, really insane. Um, I don't really know if it has any bad matchups. 
uh, aside from something like a Black or Greymon being able to get rid of Tamers. Of course, Dexmon is a really hard counter um, to this uh, sort of strategy, so honestly, if I was going to take this to some sort of event, I'd consider maybe even splashing in Dexmons in this list uh, for something like the Mirror Match. So maybe you could cut like two copies of Blinding Ray, play two Dexmon, that could definitely be um, um, something you could consider. But I, I think this, this list is pretty standard, pretty vanilla um, cross heart deck. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, let me know down in the comments section below what you think of cross heart. But anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.